You got any final thoughts for the show? Make jukes, not war. <laughs> can we edit that out? Nope. Nope. I had my game face I on. I think we can. Hello and welcome to what is a bit of a different one. Today we are taking a look at a single cast or taking a look at some photography. Instead we are having a look at a whole five pack. But I just want to start out and say, as we all know Hot Wheels lost the license to make a Ferrari a long time ago, it was sort of around 2014-2015. So why is that a Ferrari 458 uh, Speciale? And why is that on a pack released in the motor show pack, which is one we're going to have a look at today. It's just a question I've um, had a bit of a query about recently and just been thinking about a lot more as I've been hanging on my wall. See if you can answer that in the, in the comments below because I'm really confused by that. But anyway, let's have a look and see what's in this pack and which one is my favourite. England, it's probably a bit guessable. So, for starters, give you a bit of a wave in there. You can of course see the bottom uh, five pack up at the bottom of the five pack with a Lamborghini. I uh, can't quite remember the name, so I'll get that out and have a look. Uh, my favourite um, colourway of this so far: the Jaguar XESV Project Eight, the Aston Martin. I uh, can't remember, quite remember the name. It will come to me eventually. A uh, Dodge Viper and a Renault Sport uh, RS or one or five or one. Can't quite remember. But uh, this pack is great. Uh, on the side, of course, you can see that Lamborghini there. And on the back, you can see some great art there. And there's the names of them. Renault, uh, Renault Sport RS01, the 2013 SRT Viper, um, an Alfa Romeo Vulcan, an Alfa Ma Aston Martin Vulcan, Jaguar XESV Project 8, and a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. There it is there, and there's the Renault there. And of course, a great backdrop for that. Just some legal jargon here, not much. Not three side onions, I like to say. And uh, of course, all the trademarks and registry down there. So let's open it up, have a look what's in there. So um, let's do that. First out is the Lamborghini Sesto Almento in a very, very eye catching yellow. More closer to an orange in person, but on camera, it's definitely yellow, and it's one of my favourite colours. To, uh, definitely come out on this car. The yellow really does pop and I really like this colour. I hope they'd uh, release it on more. This probably should have been the colour that they put a, should have put on the Z Proto as it's really nice and rich and defined and it just looks very nice. Details on the roof as always with this cast are those sort of weird hexagonal shapes. Um, of course the interior is uh, red as with all of these or most of them should I say, on the bottom, on the base, you can see nice general detail and not much special with it and of course the diff on the back there, I believe that's what it is might not be, I can't quite remember, I used to know quite a lot about these but not so much anymore and of course, sorry if I was on focus out there the lights there are nicely detailed, I do sadly have a bit of a chip there as you may be able to see just in front of the vent nothing much, a uh, nice Lamborghini badge and of course the other headlight Nicely done there. So all in, very well done car, very nicely done, and it has a very very good presence there. Next up is this amazing Jaguar XESV Project 8, and a perfect colour for this cast. This sort of purple is really rich and just looks amazing, it suits the body lines really well, and a cast that I am really really fond of. You probably already guessed this is probably my favourite out of this pack, but we'll keep that for the end of the verdict. Uh, on the back you can see, as always with this cast, great great details. As you can see those S, V, uh, these S, E, dang it, these Jaguar tail lights look very very nice. The badges are really really well done, as you can see these S, V badges all the way around. Jaguar, which you can physically read the letters even though I am on almost full zoom, you can still see they are amazing. These wheels really really suit it. They're not like PR5s or anything like that, they are just more like an HRE sort of look and they really really suit it. Um, on the front of course you can see that really fine grill work done there just below the headlight. Headlights done really precisely. And the grill you can see another Jaguar logo with the grill done very precisely as well and on the all the way around it's done very very well. 
I've been very, very, very fortunate to have all of my decals line up very, 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 very well all the way around. There isn't a single mark on this car that isn't good. Of course, on the roof, you can see that line on there, sort of mimicking the carbon fibre that would be on this cast uh, if it was real. That colour just pops so much. I love it. It looks amazing. Next up is this Aston Martin Vulcan, which is in a very, very, very signature for this car, or Aston, orange, or sunburst orange, I believe it's called, which Jeremy Clarkson likes to mock, saying it is brown uh, on all Grand Tour episodes, so does James May and Richard Hammond. Um, this is very nicely put together, I must say. It would be nice if it had an interior, I'm not sure if it does. I can't quite tell, but nevertheless, it's hard, it's not going to really go anywhere and it's not going to be a big issue because all the details here are on the front, as you can see with that sort of alpha, uh, well, Aston Martin badge there and the headlights right there. If you remember on the first cast of this, they were always down here and they were very hard to see, so they've sort of moved them up a bit so you can see them a lot better, which is a very, very good thing. And of course the massive wing is bendable so it's not going to snap off, as you can see. It's just a very well made cast and not much to say about it because there's nothing much wrong. So I think I'm going to put that one round about there. Next up is of course the Dodge SRT Viper or the ST Viper if you like. Now this one is interesting. The colour would really pop if it was sun but right now it's not really sunny. It's not really cloudy. It's sort of a mix between. And those stripes look really really good straight across. Very clean, very crisp. The body lines are, of course, very nice for this cast. I'm not sure what designer made it, but they did a very, very good job on it. And the headlights are relatively black, which is odd, but very nicely done. A Dodge Viper Crest just there. If we zoom in all the way, we can see. Nicely, nicely done. Very well done. And, of course, the vents moulded very well. This thing has a big presence. And I'm sure if you saw it, then, well... You'd know about it because these things sound loud with a naturally aspirated V10. They absolutely scream. I've never seen one in person, I don't think. I might have seen one or two, but definitely not of this generation. I'd really like to see one because those bonnets look absolutely massive. Last but not least, the Renault RS1. Yes, this is not a Renault, as the uh, Americans love to call them. Sorry, shots fired. Uh, this is a Renault, um, or a Renault, as we like to call them here. And this thing looks absolutely amazing. Now, as you know, I'm not a big fan of stagnant wheels, so this thing fits the bill there. I love the way how it's got the lace wheels. The lace wheels look absolutely amazing. And the more I look at this car, the more it grows on me. That matte white paint job just suits it well. The cast is just very, very well done. I love the window sticker there. And I love the fact that it's RS01 everywhere. The old one sticker there suits it well. These little lines here just makes it look like a racing vibe, if you like. And I love the cast, how it says Renault all the way through the back there. That is just class. Um, the Renault Sport, the, sorry, the ducktail on the side, look nice. And the sides there sort of mimic the silhouette of the car, and it really looks nice. I've really fallen for this cast, and I know I shouldn't have because it's a Renault, but. It just looks nice, and I can't help but like it. So, the verdict. Is this pack worth getting if you find it? I would say, if you find it, a definite yes. All of these cars are top quality, and, well, they are nicely detailed, nicely touched up, and they look amazing. And we'll see in the photos soon. They look amazing. Uh, which one is my favourite, though? This is very, very close between two of these cars, and you may know from the way I talked about them just how much... I really do like them. Now this has to be of course a pick between the Jaguar XE SV Project 8, as you can see them, the purple, but also surprisingly the Renault RS01. These two really caught my eye, especially the RS01 for being just amazing. Now the XE SV Project 8 is in line with all of the other Project 8s. They've been highly detailed, highly accurate with the casting and just an amazing look, the amazing presence with the wide body kit and the kit that they put on it from factory. But also the RSO one for having those amazing lace wheels and the amazing sort of kit on it. But also the decals as well, which look absolutely amazing. The silhouette on that car has really blown me away, having it out and having it look at it on the table with that sort of background behind it. I don't know, I really like that Jaguar and everyone knows 
I really like those cars. I really like the XE, XE SV project. It's actually one of my favorite castings. This Renault, it's really caught me off guard, and I have to say, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna have to say, first, second on the Jaguar, third on the Lamborghini, fourth on the Aston, and fifth on the Viper. That's a very big surprise for me to say. But um, let's take some photos of these cars. But first, stay safe, everyone. Have fun, and of course, stay jugging.